Hey everyone, it's Becky. Today I am back with another super fun, super colorful video. Um, this is the almost only a garden house. There's the super small house there that you can see. I think this one is the smallest house in the game, actually, besides the first office. And I made that into a super cute little house. And it is surrounded by the most beautiful, colorful gardens. I did one other video with a house similar to this. I did like a fairy cottage house with a super beautiful garden. So I kind of wanted to do the same thing again because it's so much fun to place all these plants and flowers around everywhere. So it features all of these beautiful colors, some seating areas, even a greenhouse in the back, and I'm excited to give you a tour. Before we begin, I just want to tell you that I have each of these three different colored gnomes somewhere hidden around in the garden if you want to look around for them while we do this video. So here we are at the front of the property. I am going to show you around the outside first and then we will head into the house. Over on the left here is the first little garden area. This one is featuring a koi pond. So obviously it is surrounded by flowers and some trees and bushes around the back. The little path on the side here has a couple of benches so you can sit by the pond and a little windmill back there. Very cute. And then to the right of the front entrance, we have a little path here that is leading to a little fountain. And then there is a hammock back here as well. I did some like little tulips around the um, fountain here. Very cute. And then, as everywhere, <laughs> just a ton of flowers. The flower selection is really wonderful in this game. I love it. And then I have the different stepping stones and the bark and wood shavings around the plants and the stepping stones. I love this property in the game because it has so many beautiful trees. Super big, tall ones. And then I planted some of my own. We're going to follow this path up here to the house. We will go in there last. So next we have, I guess, this little hidden area back here. Lots more flowers. I've got this little cart here that is a workshop item. And then we kind of sneak through here into a little fire pit area. I have some lights around the corners, the different wicker um, sofa and chairs. Just a cozy little spot to relax in the garden. I surrounded this one with a lot of taller bushes, so it's kind of more um, hidden. I really like this pear tree that I put here to kind of fill in a little bit. And the flowers down here kind of remind me of Easter. <laughs> so many cute colors. To the right of the house, I just made a little table and chair area. And back behind it is kind of a place that you can't really get to, so I just put a nice pond back there, a little bird feeder, and just a couple of other little plants. I really like using the trees in the edible section of the um, plants because there's lots of tall fruit trees that I really like, especially this one. And then moving along the side, more beautiful flowers. I was able to plant some cute little ones in this well. And then over here, I made an actual veggie garden here. Tomatoes, lettuce, zucchini, pumpkins, cucumbers, and a little scarecrow in the middle. Coming along from that, we have the greenhouse. This is a workshop item and it's super cool. A huge greenhouse, all glass, really cool. I put some little yellow rubber boots out here, and then inside, and in the middle we have a table here with different um, potting supplies so that we can um, pot new plants and have them get ready to grow and be able to be planted outside. Some little um, ladder shelves with plants on them, bigger plants, smaller flowers. I just really love how this greenhouse looks. Moving on from the greenhouse to the right, we've got this little, um, kind of whimsical little cottage for like a fairy and a tree stump. Super cute. I planted some tiny flowers all around it. And the path goes all the way around the back of the, um, fairy house. This is like a dove, um, uh, house I think it's called, something like that. Going all the way around, and then we will be heading back. I just realized that sometimes this comes back. I don't know why, but we're going to try our best to keep that away. <laughs> but anyways, I love how colorful this is. Absolutely beautiful. And now we come to the tiny house. Um, I put this nice big porch on here to kind of add some dimension to the front. This is a workshop item. 
And in front I just have a couple of um, wooden flower pots, a chair, and a little table. Heading inside, it's very small but has everything we need. Next to the door we have a hanging plant and then a very thin console table type thing here. On it we have a little moon lamp, a little plate here for our keys and stuff, some books, our shoes at the bottom, and just a couple other knickknacks. A nice flower market painting here, and then on the right side is the bedroom for these tiny houses and for any house in general. If you want a little more square footage, just put in these um, windows that go all the way to the floor and it gives you a little extra um, square footage to work with. I use these like curtains from the workshop, just so it's not a huge open window. So this is the bedroom area. I used the um, bunk bed with the desk. So down below is the desk area. I have a um, computer, lamp, a little knickknacks, some like drawing supplies over here, and then it has the ladder going up to the bed. I also really like this blue wallpaper, cute little flowers. Up here is the super cozy bed area, lots of books on this little bookshelf. This tablet is a newer addition to the game. A teddy bear and some throw pillows, and of course the cozy lights. Coming back from the bedroom area, this is the little kitchen area. Super small, but it has everything we need in it. Over here we have open shelving with dishes and food and spices. And down below we have the little small oven and stove and sink. We have some herbs on the window, another plant up here. And I have a mini fridge and up top is the like pantry for the dry goods. Right here is a little dining nook, just a tiny little table, a couple chairs, and then another area of big window here to add some extra square footage over here as well. And in this one I used some workshop blinds. Also above the bathroom door and above the front door I have a couple pictures and a hanging plant. Right here I have this little nook it kind of um, indented in there so I put up some shelves and some knickknacks on the shelves. A small little nightstand like table with some fresh flowers from the garden and some candles and then a hanging mirror and a poof to finish things off. And here is the tiny bathroom, <laughs> very small. I'm gonna stand over here on the toilet to show you everything. <laughs> Just a pedestal sink with a mirror. Um, this is like my little medicine cabinets full of all the cosmetics and toiletries. Little toilets, um, a window, a plant, and then a very small shower. A little cramped, but it works. I can't even get out of this bathroom, so I have to lift up this chair, close the door, put the chair back. <laughs> But yeah, very small, but also very cozy in here. I especially like this cozy little bedroom area. So that is it for my almost only a garden house. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Um, it was definitely a labor of love to put in all these plants, um, but it's so much fun as well. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye!